This morning on The Blend, we have back with us Janice Milligan, who is the owner of Doggy Daycare and Spa. Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Bob. So, Janice, how do we know that our dog will be okay uh, with other dogs while playing at Doggy Daycare and Spa? That's a great question, Bob. The first thing we do is we have requirements that all the dogs have to meet in order to come. We have an enrollment process that all the dogs have to go through that includes an application that the dog's owner or pet parent fills out. Um, that can be done right online on our website, which is lansinghiphounds.com. We review that information. It gives us some background information on each individual dog. And then we do an evaluation with everyone before they're able to come their first time. If for some reason during a dog's um, evaluation or even after they pass their evaluation, we start seeing behaviors that we're not comfortable with, or we think it's gonna create an unsafe environment for them or for any of the other dogs that are in attendance, we may decide that it's no longer a good fit. And that's okay. You know, I had a dog that couldn't go to doggy daycare and spa. And you know, it was, it's just how it is. It's not for every dog, but the dogs that can do it, they sure do love it. Yeah, well, it, they love it because there's so much activities that you guys have for the dogs. It's not like they're sitting around. They're, they're really doing fun stuff, but also learning. They, they really are. It keeps their mind and body active. You know, the first thing they do when they get there is they greet everyone. They're getting um, their brain moving with smells of other dogs. They're interacting with the team members that are there. We work on obedience through the day. We are going inside and outside. So they're learning patience with going through doors, um, those types of things. We work on sit, stay. We don't let them just bust through um, entrances and, and doorways and stuff. So they have to learn to stay for that type of those types of things. We get out things for enrichment, like um, we've got some big balls, nothing that they can fit into their mouth, but big balls that we'll get out that they can play with. We have bubbles that we use sometimes. Um, we do um, activities on the playground equipment. We're constantly interacting with them and trying to enrich their, their time. They nap in the middle of the day, um, which is fun to see them snuggled up together. So they're busy. Yeah. Do you have to have your dog enrolled in, in doggy daycare to have them spend the night at doggy daycare and spa? They, we do. We do require that because we're not a traditional boarding facility. We're, we offer boarding for dogs that can come for daycare. So in order for our dog to spend the night, they're going to get to enjoy the company of other dogs. They're not just going to be locked up in a kennel or um, with very minimal time out. They're going to be out all day. So when it is time for them to go to sleep, they're tired. And yeah. we bring their own belongings from home. And, and real quick, Janice, yes or no, what about grooming? Do you have to be a member? Grooming will groom anybody. So okay. as long as the dog's current on their vaccinations, they can come.